Major celebration across U.S. could soon be banned because Muslims are demanding it goes away. We all work hard to make a home for ourselves and for our loved ones to enjoy. We have our furniture placed just where we like it, and the refrigerator is stocked with our favorite goodies. We can do what we want in our home because it is ours and if we want to blast our music and drink a beer we can. However, imagine people barging into your home and telling you what you can and cannot do, and we are not talking about your mother-in-law's men. We are talking about Muslim refugees who have abandoned their homes in the middle of the desert for new digs. Instead of these refugees being gracious guests they have made the choice to tell others how they can act in their own country. These refugees have essentially have barged into countries around the world and are demanding that they conform to their third world ideas. Now, these Muslims have set their sights on Oktoberfest and if they have their way it could be gone for good. Oktoberfest is celebrated around the world and it is one way to kick off the fall season. However, Muslims do not see it that way and find the celebration to be offensive, saying that it goes against their religion. Instead of these sensitive Muslims staying away from the event and letting it roll off their backs, they have other plans. They have started petitions to have this jovial celebration stopped, and we have one here for you to take a look at. Mord El Muradi wrote this letter from the Netherlands, and also created it as a petition on change.org. The petition is asking that the City Council of Munich, Germany put an end to the traditional 16-day Oktoberfest event since it is intolerant and anti-Islamic. Here is what El Muradi wrote. Dear City Council of Munich, I am writing this letter to bring to your attention something that I and many Muslims believe is unfair and requires attention. I would like to inform you that the Oktoberfest is an intolerant and anti-Islamic event. We tried to ignore the event, but there are too many un-Islamic acts done at the Oktoberfest, such as alcohol consumption, public nudity etc. We understand that the Oktoberfest is a yearly German tradition, but we, Muslims, cannot tolerate this un-Islamic event, because it offends us and all Muslims on the earth. We are requesting the immediate cancellation of the upcoming Oktoberfest event. We also believe that the Oktoberfest might also offend all the Muslim refugees coming from Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan. The cancellation of the Oktoberfest event will help refugees not to forget their Islamic history. Thank you for your attention to this matter. Sincerely, Mard El Murdi so far, El Murdi's petition has over 250 signers. Munich and other countries around the world have been flooded with refugees thanks to liberal policies. The city, in the south of Germany, has been a main entry point for the refugees, and city leaders have said in the past they are at full capacity. Though instead of closing their doors Angela Merkel allows these refugees to continue pouring in. What makes this even more infuriating is that this is a celebration that Munich has been holding since 1810. This is a part of their history and culture and how dare these refugees demand that to be changed. These people decided to leave their homes in search of another and instead of them assimilating and accepting their new home's culture they attempt to change it. Clash Daily has proposed a response letter to this complaint and it should be sent out to Mord El Murdi immediately. Hi, you will notice that Germany's history is a lot of things, but none of them is Islamic. You talked about history. Oktoberfest is part of Germany's history. Get used to it. We like beer. We like women. And we really, really don't like parasitic house guests coming in and telling us how to run our lives. Maybe you really really like the Islamic history in these other godforsaken places you fled from. If you like that culture so much better, you can haul your ungrateful asses back to the miserable hellholes you fled from and enjoy your worthless religion's utopia on your own terms. Elsewhere, this response truly nails it and it should be sent to any Muslim who tries to change another country's tradition. However, if you think this won't happen here and this is only Europe's you would be wrong. Muslims have been flooding into this country over the last several years, thanks to the Obama administration. These unwelcome house guests have already attempted to start issues here such as implementing Sharia law in cities across the country. It does not take a genius to see that it will just be a matter of time before they begin to try and change our nation's holidays too. Which is why we need to stay vigilant and continue to push back against their dangerous ideology. What America has over countries such as Germany is a strong leader in the White House that desires to put American first and make us great again.